Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how you can store batch command output into a variable. Uh, using a command substitution feature of that, you can do this task very easily. And uh, the syntax for command substitution is using dollar symbol or using backticks. And you can use very simple command without option, with option, and commands, uh, dependent commands, or nested commands, or common group. Uh, so you can uh, follow any one of these two conventions using dollar or practice. And in this tutorial, uh, the both of the example is shown here. And uh, using uh, this way, you must remember that never use space symbol before and after this equals. Our first example is used to use the date command, uh, which uh, print the current system date and time. So to do, so to check the output of this command, open any terminal and store the output of get command into a variable just type d or any variable name equal to dollar date uh, it will store the value of date command into the variable d so if i print the variable now then it is showing the current date and time of my computer system uh, in this way, you can also use uh, backticks uh, to get the same output. For this, you have to type backticks, date, and backticks equal dollar d. You can see the output is same. And in the next example, pwd command is used. At, uh, it, it is used to show the use of backticks. And so output will be generated in the same way and go to the example 3 and here wc command is used with options wc command is used to uh, count the total number of lines characters and words of any file so first of all I'll, i will create a file put.txt with this content so go to the text editor And uh, paste the content and save the file. Now it means quotes dot text. Okay. Now run the uh, this command and uh, to store the value of wc command into the count underscore what variable you can use any variable in here uh, now if i print the value of count underscore word you can see output is six six means there are six words in the file in the same way, you can uh, see the total number of character to type C. And if I print again, then it is 38. That means there are 38 characters in the file book.d. And in example 4, uh, uh, cut command is used here. And uh, this example is showing how you can use dependent command or multiple command in common substitution. There are two command is used in this script that is equal command and cut command. So first of all create the file with this script. And save the file with the name cmd1.sh. And you can see uh, another file you need to execute the code that is vt.tc. So get this file also with this content. And save the file vt.tc. Ok, 
idea of text file and a script file and script. Mm. If I explain the script, uh, first the file name, which is in the current location, we did a txt is stored in a variable file name, and while loop is used to read each line of this file one by one and store each line in line variable. An echo command and the cut command is using pipe symbol. That means the output of echo command will be stored into the, uh, will be work as an input for cut command. So first of all, echo command will uh, print the value of each line of into the text and send it to cut command. Cut command will uh, cut the first three character of each line. And here each command is used here to compare the first three character and if the first three character is sun then it will fail. Sunday is the holiday. Otherwise it will print the three characters of each line. Okay, save the file and uh, okay now go to the terminal and run the screen. Here you can see uh, for Sunday it is uh, green, Sunday is the holiday and for other weekday it has been the first three characters of each day. Now I'll go for the next example. And, uh, this is using common substitution in loop. That means the output of each command will be go to a loop variable and print the value of the variable. So create another script file to check this example. Save the file. Cmd2 dot sh. And uh, the output of the command is to find out the all directory of the current directory. So, the for loop, the variable of for loop di and in will read each directory from the current location and print the output. So, run this command to check the output. Bash cmd2.sh. You can see these are all our directory list. Now go for the next example using nested command. In this section, section the echo command and who command is used together where the first execute the who command and output of who command will be printed by the echo command. That means here echo command is dependent on who command but who command is not dependent on echo command. So run this command from here and print the value of bar. You can see this is the output of Hoopa. And our last uh, topic is about common path. You can use any command with path also in common substitution. Here, who am, who am I command is under user bin location, so you can also use this command like this. And now print the output. Here you can see the output of who am I command. In the same way, uh, you can uh, create another bash file or uh, execute the script from the terminal. So here uh, I will create a bash file cmd3 cmd3.sh and uh, it reads the command line argument and bash name command is used to read the base file name from the command and store it in the variable file name and in the next statement it is print.
uh, and in the next statement it will print the value of dollar by name. So, okay, now run this script using a common line argument value as a file path. So, dash cmd3 dot sh. And the name is uh, share code. Suppose uh, the file name is hello dot ac. You can see it reads the only the base name of the path, which is hello dot text. In this way, you can uh, store the auto output of a single or multiple command into a variable using command substitution and uh, apply it another purpose. Thank you for watching.